What's going on guys? So in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the Sam's story for Metro Exodus. Now if you're just here for basically just to say what it is, it's a, probably a 9.5 out of 10. Now, and, and uh, that's basically my verdict of the game. It's a 9.5 out of 10 and it's a must buy. Now if you just came for that, there you go. You can like and subscribe and go on to your next video. But I'm going to go into why it's a 9.5 now. Basically, it's an amazing story. It's an amazing game. Everything about it is amazing. The graphics are the same as the Metro Exodus, but it's still amazing. Metro Exodus was an amazing game. Now, Sam Story is an amazing, amazing DLC. Now, the only reason it's a nine point five is because of the saves. Literally, you would like you you would clear pretend there's like five objectives. You would clear four objectives, and if you died on the fifth objective, it would restart you. So you back on the so you back on the second objective or the first objectives, like the saves in in some stories are horrendous, and that's the only reason it's probably longer than the colonel the colonel story the colonel two to the two colonels whatever it's called, but literally the only reason it's more longer than all the other DLCs well the other DLC is because of the saves, and that's why it's a nine point five because they kind of cheated you out by making the saves so horrible like it takes like you literally have to go go you have to survive for so much now you can probably do it in one go and it'll be like at like two hours of gameplay or like five hours of gameplay three hours probably not that probably like an hour but if you constantly die it's like 20 hours of gameplay because the re the, re the amount of times that i just quit the game there and then because of dying and being like it's like like if you look at my hand this is this is the start point right you go all the way over here, this is like an hour, this is like two hours, and then you die, and you're all the way back. And like, literally, I would quit the game, because I would just die, and respawn in the most stupid, like, just way back in the story. And it was annoying playing for it again, killing people silently, and killing the mutants and stuff. Now, if you don't mind that, and if you don't die as much, because I played on the hardest difficulty, so of course I'm going to be dying, because I get one shot by literally every bullet. And two hitted by like every monster, like a mutant, the Starkers, the Watchmen, and stuff like that. Now, it is a must buy. If you're if you're gonna play on normal or easy hardcore, it's a must buy. But if you're gonna play on Ranger, the or the highest difficulty, make sure you actually are good at the game. <laughs> because if you're not as good, you and you'll die more more and more you will 1000% get pissed off, like highly irritated by it and you'll probably quit and then go back to it because it's like addicted, <laughs> it's like so good where you go back to it anyway that's basically why it's a 9.5 and not a 10 out of 10 but other than that it's a must buy and it's an amazing game hopefully they come out with a new game, a new, a new uh, Metro game that's that's not Artyom because I don't really like Artyom not talking because in some story he actually talks to like the characters, say if someone talks to you in in like a cutscene, you actually talk back. Well, Sam talks back, and Sam's accent accent is amazing. The American one, I think I think he is an actor. I just I forgot what his name was, but he's a good actor. His voice is good, and obviously he talks back. But with Artyom, you only hear him in the actual dialogue when the game's loading, which I kind of don't like because it kind of makes your character a mute, which is not bad because obviously people are mute because they have like like difficulties with speaking. Like, obviously, yeah, it's fine, you can be a mute, but, but in a video game, it doesn't, it doesn't help with this, with the character, just to be a mute, because you can't exactly, whatever it's called. Anyway, it's an amazing game, it's a must-buy before I start talking and talking. Please like and subscribe, and follow uh, my Twitter, which is SCP Scribbles, and follow my Instagram, which is Purring Apple, Purring Apple. Uh, please like and subscribe, peace out.